Growing your email list is key if you want to have a successful online business. So whether you are creating lead magnets or a webinar, you want to have a high converting landing page in order to get more signups for your list. In today's video, I'm showing you how you can create a highly converting landing page using one of my favorite tools, lead pages. I'm also showing you what you should and should not have on your landing page if you want people to sign up and get as many new subscribers as possible. This is the best place for coaches and creators who are ready to add a scalable income stream to their business by turning their knowledge into an online course. And if that is you, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every Friday when a new video goes live. Now there are six important things you should have on every landing page for your freebie or your lead magnet. So if you haven't already, head on over to leadpages.com and log in or sign up for a new account. Once you do, you'll be taken to your lead pages dashboard or you can create your new landing page. I'm not going to go into the specifics, but you can go over here and create a new landing page and choose a template that you like or simply start from scratch. So I'm gonna go in here to one of the landing pages that I have been using. It converts at 43%, which is really great and has gotten a lot of people to sign up for my free Instagram course. So that is the page here. And when it comes to these six elements that you want to have on your high converting landing page, it doesn't really matter what order you put these things in as long as they're all on there, except for the two things. So you do always want to lead with the juicy hook and have a form, a sign up form for somebody to get onto your email list somewhere at the bottom. So step number one is to open with your juicy hook. So that is the first section here where I have calling all female entrepreneurs and business owners. Are you ready to grow an authentic audience of ideal clients and customers on Instagram? Now that is in big text. It's a big claim and it's going after a goal that I know my ideal customers have. They have businesses and they want to attract their ideal clients and grow their Instagram accounts. So that is a good example of a good juicy hook to open with. Now, when it comes to your juicy hook, the purpose is to get your readers to go to the next line. Somebody, when somebody lands on your landing page, they have a short attention span and they can easily just click away. So your juicy hook grabs their attention and makes them want to learn more. So your juicy hook can be something like a polarizing statement, a claim or a promise that they really, really want to learn more about from you. The second thing you should have on your landing page is what is it? People need to know what it is they're signing up for. Otherwise, they're not going to give you their email address and sign up. So this is a free course. So I scroll down a little bit and it says right down here in this jam packed boot camp of a five day e course, I'm sharing my proven step by step formula for growing a targeted, authentic audience of ideal customers and clients on Instagram. So that is short and sweet, a simple single sentence that says exactly what it is. So it is a five day course delivered over email and it tells exactly what it's helping them do. The third thing is who is it for? So I've done this already up at the top, calling all female entrepreneurs and business owners, but it's also again down here. So if you are a female entrepreneur, that is calling out my ideal customer. I'm looking for female entrepreneurs, so that excludes everybody else. You wanna be specific on who you're targeting and call out exactly who it is for. So I'm super curious, have you committed to growing your email yet? This is a mistake I see a lot of new coaches and creators making is that they know they should have an email list, but they haven't dedicated the time to grow it or to send content to those leads. And this is a huge mistake because if you are relying on social media, whether that's Instagram or YouTube or other platforms, you don't actually own that platform. You know, algorithms change, you can get banned, anything could happen and then your business is completely screwed. So that's why it is so important to have an email list in the first place because you can land in your inboxes of your ideal clients whenever you need to. So comment below, are you committing to growing your email list? So when it comes to talking about the problems that your freebie 
solved, you can tackle this in a bulleted list. So you can cover a few of the major ones here. And you want to bring these up so it comes across that you know exactly where your ideal customers are coming from. You understand what pains and problems they're struggling with, and that builds trust. They can learn to trust that you know where they're coming from, so then you know how to get them where they also want to go which your freebie will help them do. So this part of the landing page illustrates some of the problems that my e-course solves. So again here, tired of watching your numbers on Instagram go up and down like a roller coaster, or constantly wondering why the algorithm has it out for you and why you can't seem to get the attention of your ideal clients no matter what you do. So these are problems that I know my ideal customers and clients are struggling with, and I'm looking to address those in this freebie. So for the outcome of your freebie, you wanna focus on the transformation. What are the tangible outcomes of somebody taking the advice in your freebie and putting it into action? So you wanna focus on that, paint that picture and get them really excited to change their life and get to that point that they're aiming for. So an example of the outcomes comes all the way down here. So I'm not gonna read them all, but these are things that my e-course is going to help. I've done the research on this and I found out exactly what my ideal customers and clients are struggling with and I am outlining what their life is gonna look like afterwards, how I'm gonna solve those problems and how much easier their life is going to be afterwards. So I'm going to teach them how they can get off the hamster wheel of gaining five followers one day and then losing them the next. I'm gonna show them how to stop doing that. I'm going to help them pinpoint exactly what's holding them back from succeeding so they can start getting that recognition that they want. Among other things that are on the list here, um, these are things that I know my ideal customers and clients really want to achieve and highlighting a few of them, whether that's in a bullet list or in text and copy somewhere on your landing page will help them make the decision to sign up and give you their email address. If you can use numbers and data because this makes it a lot more compelling. So say your freebie helps somebody get to their first thousand email subscribers. Using that number, using saying you can get your first thousand subscribers in the next 60 days, those really make people want to download your thing and learn from you because it is super specific. And the last and final thing you should have on your landing page is your CTA and your sign up form. So again, your CTA calls them to action and you want them to sign up to enter their email address and start taking the steps towards that outcome that you've promised them. So my free course promises to help them grow their audience on Instagram. So I've made my CTA ready to grow your audience. And then I've made the text on my button to grow my Instagram. You want your text, your CTAs, and all of that to be action oriented. So instead of just putting in subscribe or sign up, I've made it action oriented and I have included copy that illustrates the outcome that they want. And when you're setting this up, you want to make sure you have your integration set up. So I'm using ConvertKit, so I can go over here after I click on my form and I can choose which provider I wanna use and then choose which form I want to integrate it with so that people get the right freebie when they sign up. Um, but you'll need to set that up with whatever you're using, whether that's ConvertKit, whether that is Active campaign, MailChimp, or something else. And that's also where you set your fields. So if you wanna collect just the email or you wanna add other fields other than first name or email, you can add that in here. And then the third is the action. So I have a thank you page set up that they get directed to, but you can also just have them remain on the page or get a simple thank you for submitting notification. So after you've done that, you have everything you need to have a high converting landing page, but there are a few things you should not have on your landing page if you want it to do the heavy lifting for you and for your business. So the first thing is a landing page has a single purpose and that is to get people to sign up for your list, right? You want them to give you their email so they can get whatever it is you're offering them. Now, when you have your regular navigation, that's usually at the top of your website or blog, that can be distracting. You don't want people to click away to some other thing on your website. You want it to be very clear that this is the way we want you to go and this is what we want you to do. So there shouldn't be links going to any other place on your website other than your form to sign up for your email list. So picture it as a road. You have this highway and you want your prospects to go straight down to the destination. And having other links and other things 
on your landing page is like putting on different off ramps that go to other places. And that really defeats the purpose and will make it so fewer people get to where you want them to go. Creating your landing page is just one of the first steps of growing your list because you also have to put in a little bit of effort in order to grow it and to get people signing up. You need to send traffic to your landing page in order to get signups, right? So to help you do that as quickly and efficiently as possible, I've put together this guide here where you can learn to gain your first thousand subscribers so you can grow your list and scale your business. With this toolkit, you'll get my step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a really great freebie that your audience really, really wants to get their hands on, how to set up your email list, and how to promote it on various platforms, on Instagram, on YouTube, wherever you are, promoting your freebie on those platforms in order to get that traffic and to grow your list. And you can grab that toolkit at the link in the description below. Also, if you want to join an amazing community of other coaches and creators just like you, I'd love to invite you to join my exclusive free Facebook group, The Course Boss Club. Inside, you not only get access to this amazing community of like-minded entrepreneurs, I'll also be in there every weekday dropping knowledge and my best tips and tricks on how to grow and scale your online course-based business. Again, you can join that at the link in the description below. Check out these videos next if you are ready to take your course business to the next level. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and share it with a friend who could also benefit. See you next time.